What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. All right, y'all, it is Sunday, April 10th, and I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance for the scratchy voice that I have. I've had a sore throat for the last few days, but the yard has been coming on strong lately. And you can see that we're probably up to maybe 90% green up now. There's still some spots where you have a little bit of a yellow haze here and there. But overall, we are definitely starting to fill in. So I'm going to go around and show you the rest of the lawn, the, the other side, and then in the back where we have a little bit of damage from the dogs. And then we're going to talk about what granular fertilizer I'm using this season in the lawn. Here we are over here in the side yard. When I mowed yesterday, you can see that I did some vertical stripes. And again, we have a little bit of yellowing in a few spots. I tell you one thing that hasn't helped is that we haven't had any real rain lately. And really on the forecast for the next week or two, it doesn't really look like we have any super high chances either. But the yard's still responding to the heat. So we're still getting some of that, the green growth coming in. And uh, obviously we're just gonna have to, to use the irrigation system here until we get some, some real rainfall. I know that's really what the yard really, really wants because no matter how much you use your sprinklers, the yard's always gonna respond better if you get some real rain. But until then, we're just gonna go with what we've got. And here's a good shot of the backyard here. You can see that the lines are coming this direction as well. And the grass is already starting to get that nice carpet look to it from mowing it short. And then we got a nice dark green color. And you can see that it's it's pretty low. It's about half an inch tall. But what we do have in the backyard is some damage from these dog pee spots. And that's just something that you're gonna deal with whenever you have dogs. And I'm not as worried about it here in the backyard because that's what the backyard's for. It's for the dogs and uh, it's for our family to, to play or my little son to play in. So, you know, as long as the grass is green, we don't have a lot of weeds or disease or bugs and all that kind of stuff back here, then as we get more heat and more water and feed the lawn more, a lot of those spots will fill in. And overall, I think the backyard's also looking really good. All right, so the moment that a lot of people have been waiting for, everybody always wants to know what fertilizer you're using. And this year I was blessed enough to have Yard Mastery reach out to me and offer to send me some products to use out in the lawn. And this is their signature line of granular fertilizers. They also sent me some liquid products as well, and hopefully I can get a video out on those here in the next couple of weeks. But just know that I have links to all these products in the description box below the video. And if you do choose to purchase through one of my links, I will get a commission on that because I am a Yard Mastery affiliate, and that will go to help support the channel so I can continue to make content for y'all. So right here is the Yard Mastery starter fertilizer. It's a 12-12-12. This is the flagship, which is a 2406. This is the stress blend, which is a 7020. And this is the double dark, which is a 1600. So far this season, all I've used is two very, very light coats of the starter 121212 right here. And the reason I did that was because I knew from my soil test earlier in the year that my lawn could use all three macros, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Uh, I was on the lower end of all three of those. And this 12-12-12 is a great product to get all three macros in one application. So I started out with a couple of applications of this. I might go one more application of the starter fert, but uh, ultimately I plan on transitioning to the flagship, which is the 2406. So it doesn't have any phosphorus but I do plan on this being my primary fertilizer for the rest of the year. And then these two are more specialty products. The stress blend is going to be used when your yard's under some sort of stress. So normally what you're thinking about there is in those summer months when you don't want to push a whole lot of growth, but you still want to feed the lawn something. So in that case, when you're getting a lot of heat, not a lot of water, a stress blend fertilizer is a good product to think about using. It's got a 7020 analysis, which means that it doesn't have very much nitrogen, so it's not gonna push a whole lot of growth, no phosphorus, and a lot of potassium 
for that root system. And then over here on the far right side of the screen here, we've got the double dark, which is a 1600 analysis. So it's got no phosphorus and no potassium, but it does have twice as much iron as the rest of these products. So it's got a 6% iron analysis and iron is going to give you a darker green color without pushing as much growth as nitrogen would. And here is a close up of what the fertilizer actually looks like. This is obviously the starter fertilizer. It's the only bag I've actually opened, but all of them have this basic kind of composition to them. And it's got really strong dip and dot vibes. All right, for time's sake, we're just gonna go ahead and look at the flagship bag of fertilizer because this will be the primary fertilizer for most people if they decide to go the yard mastery route and all the bags are gonna read very similarly. Uh, they're all gonna be spiked with this Bionite, which is like the yard mastery or Sunnyland version of Milorganite. And it's just going to add to the microbial activity in your soil and good for just general soil health. And they're all gonna be 45 pound bags that cover 15,000 square feet. Yard mastery did actually come back come out recently with smaller bags that obviously will cover smaller areas of the yard. I'll try to flash one of the pictures over here on the screen for y'all, but just know that if you get those smaller bags, then they're gonna cost you more per application than going with one of the larger bags. Yard Mastery products are going to be generally more expensive than stuff that you'll find at a big box store. So if you're working on a, on a shoestring budget, then you probably still wanna go the big box store route. I'm not gonna pretend that the products that I use are always the products that every single person in the whole country should use. You know, you just have to assess the needs of your lawn and then look at your budget. And you know, if, you're, if that's something that you are in the market for, then this is a, a good option that's out there and it gets sent directly to your doorstep. So over here on the side of the bag, you'll see that they have the spreader settings. It has all of your major spreaders. It's got the Scots, it's got the Earthway, it's got the Echo, it's got the Lesco. Okay, so it gives you the settings for all of your major spreaders. And then at the bottom, it gives you the grass types that this product can work on. And then it gives you the suggested times to apply those products. So it gives you a cool season suggestion. And then it gives you right here a warm season suggestion. And then over here, you'll just see the analysis. And then this is kind of like on the back of when you get food at the store, it kind of gives you the ingredients that are in the bag. So it's a 2406. Remember that means this bag is 24% nitrogen, 0% phosphorus and 6% potassium. And it does have 3% iron. Now I will say that iron oxide from what I've read is usually not gonna be able to be taken up by the plant depending on your pH. If your pH is over six, then it's gonna have a hard time taking up iron oxide. So you might not get the benefits of the iron in this product, but that's why I don't ever rely on granulars for my iron. I always use some sort of liquid iron application. So hopefully that was the big reveal that most of you have been waiting for. I'll make sure as I continue to use these products throughout the year that I get the results on film for y'all to check out so y'all can see the progress that's being made in the lawn and make sure you keep your eye out for a liquid application or a liquid product video coming out here, hopefully in the next couple of weeks as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you're liking the content and you wanna to continue to see more of it, hit the red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.